Hey, what's up for all my friends? And this is Helperty again, and welcome to watching my another video tutorial. And today, what I'm going to show you, if you try to use PHP and my admin and try to log it in, but you get the 404 not from error message, and you maybe will uh, use Google search and try to find out the solution from the search or the other website or forms to figure out these problems. So uh, today I just want to grab the chance to show you how to figure out the problem. Just take a few minutes. The first thing you have better to understand what is for for not found word page. That means when a user attempts to follow a broken or dead link, but the service has the recognizable errors. This happens like um, they have the uh, uh, trouble of the connection between the server and the user. The, the, the reason why you get the 404 error message, so uh, uh, let me show you. And uh, when you, before you go to your PHP my admin, so you have to run your, I mean the, the MySingle or, or the, I mean the database web server to manage servers. but. Uh, can you see your all the server is running? However, the Apache web server is doesn't the the, the stop. Uh, it doesn't work. So that's why this is the main reason why the other servers got the error because uh, you have some data missing. You didn't turn on your Apache web server. So that's why you get the 404 error not found page message. And uh, what we have to do, we have to do is figure out what's going on. The Apache web server, why it doesn't work. Um, um, maybe, you know, um, uh, have some problems like probably uh, you have some data um, damage or maybe you just accidentally destroy some data. So uh, that will make your data file have something missing from the Apache server. That we don't, we know, so we have to check it out. So before you are going to figure out this problem, before you do any action, so first things you have to do is turn off your web sharing. So what is that and how 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 is how how to do that? So you have to click on your system preference. Okay, and you can check out your sharing icon and uh, click on it. Okay, right here you can see your web sharing, the data is on. So this is the, the you know, very ignoring uh, your Apache serv uh, server is running. So before you turn on all the servers, you have better to turn off the status. So you just uncheck the web sharing, so make the status is off. Make sure the left bottom corner the lock is unlocked already before you're doing any change. Also go back to the to your I mean the, the uh, zap zap uh, page and uh, you you have to you just leave out the page so just make like you know the home status so just leave out the page and then right here just go back to your I mean I mean uh, the the zap or web, it doesn't matter. So it's either either your your um, uh, my single web uh, server. So go to click start re uh, restart all. So just rerun your servers again. It will take a little while to run through the servers and get them restarting again. So you have better to be patient. Now it's all get the green light. So you can see, and then check on. Just go back your like you know um, local host. Just maybe PHP my admin. So let me log in my account. Let's see. Yes, I really get back to my login page, and there is no more any for for error page again. So now let us do the last review. Remember, every single time when you run your managed servers, make sure your web sharing status is always off. But after that, you can turn on when all the server have been running. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to channels on YouTube. 
If you want to get more detail about this tutorial, you can go to whatthehellbuddy.blogspot.com.